Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new episode in Unreal Engine 4 Tutorials. In this episode we're going to go through how to create a particular function. Now one of the common things I find myself trying to do in some games I'm making is I want to find the nearest actor of a certain class. I want it to return which, class, which actor of a particular class is closest to the player. And there is no function currently in the blueprints uh, for this current version of Unreal. So I'm going to go through and show you how to create your own function library and create your own function to handle this and apply that function to any actor you have inside your game. So for this I've got three test dummies okay, and I want to um, determine which one is the closest. So let's create a function library. So you're going to go to add new blueprints and choose blueprint function library and we'll call this one um, my function library. Now a function library is basically a collection of functions that can be used by pretty much any actor. So we can go in here and define a function in here. Now because these are not attached to any particular actor you can't use any references or global variables to a class. So here we're going to call this function um, find nearest actor of class. This function is going to have two inputs. So we go to inputs here and the first one is going to be a class that you want to find and that will be of the type actor and when you hover over it go over to see class reference and the next input we're going to have is the target location so target location and this will be the location you want to measure against so here this will be a vector and this could be in our case the player's location now we've got that we're going to now use the class pin here to get all actors of class and this is a exp expensive so don't use it all the time um, it wouldn't be put on a tick for example um, so use it with caution okay um, obviously you won't notice it if you use it just once but if you use it a lot then you're going to get issues so go out to the actors of class this will output an array of these actors we're going to use this to do it for each loop and we need to go through each one and measure the distance each one is to our target location so with the arraignment get actor location and then we need to get our target location so right click and type in target location <coughs> and we want to measure if this is uh, less, uh, less than And we want to measure the distance between these two points. So drag from here and do distance and you'll see distance vector. And plug in the second vector into it. So this output a float and this is the distance between these two points. We need to compare that and save that value with a new local variable. So go to new local variable and I'm going to put in lock underscore nearest uh, distance. And this will be a float and we hit compile and you want to drag this out and hit get and we want to check if this is less than the lock nearest distance now to start off with we need to make sure our local variable here lock nearest distance has a very high value so the very first time an actor goes through this loop it's more than likely going to trigger it as true and store itself on our return value so on lock nearest distance I'm going to put something really high, I'm going to put in like 10,000 and that will do. So next I'm going to put in a branch to handle that boolean and that all plugs into loop body. Excellent. So if that is true and it is closer than the lock nearest distance we need to store a new lock nearest distance. So drag that out and choose set. And the new value will come from this distance vector node here so drag that out like so and then we need to store which array element was it that managed to get through so I'm going to go to local variable and do lock underscore nearest actor and this will be of the type actor drag that out choose set 
and this will be connected to the, the array element. Perfect. So the first time it goes through this, this will trigger and it will reset the new nearest distance to compare against and the new nearest, uh, nearest actor. So each time it's going to go through, it, through the list one by one to check whether or not we are closer or not. After it's finished it's doing its loop, we need to output these two values. So go to completed, do a return node, and now we can drag our local variables out. Just get, and get, and plug that in to our return node. And I'm just going to rename them. So we'll call this one nearest actor. And this one we'll call nearest distance. Done. And that is our function completed on our function library. So once you hit save and compile, we can come out of there. And as I said, I've set up some test dummies. So the way this works is my test dummy has a function on it called select actor. And it should deselect all the other ones and only select the one we've ch told to um, activate. So on our level blueprint, we are going to do a tick. And then we can search for our new uh, function we just made. So I'll just type in nearest, and you'll see find nearest actor of class, and that's our function. The class we want to search for is going to be a test dummy. And the target location is going to come from the player character. So I'm going to get player character. And from there, get actor location. And this will output the nearest actor here, which I can then cast to test dummy and tell it to select actor. And I'll call that function on the test dummy. So now let's go back and push play. The nearest one I've told to turn green. So as I move around, you can see it changes to which one is the nearest. And there you go. And that's how you make your own custom function to calculate which actor is nearest. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, learned something from it. And hopefully you find a use for this new function. If you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan A donation of just one dollar will get access to loads of videos before anyone else, as well as many other benefits such as Discord, voting privileges and project files. Thank you to all my supporters currently on YouTube, members, and on Patreon. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or queries, leave a comment below, uh, and I'll try and get around to seeing them. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.